All righty, Steiny and Guru joined by Willard and Dibs. It's the crossover. You know what it is. What's up, gents? Joined by the champ. What's up, Willard? Hey. The champ it, is here. Stop. That's stop. a great. I got to work with him. Oh, my God. So, he won, I mean, though. We got to give him love. But again, I have to no, work with him. No, Goo, you so. have to give me love because that's not the way those two operate. You got I'm love a, yesterday. Yeah, gonna, oh, you well, got love. I missed you admitted it. that you and your wife I heard down that for a conversation. Dibs, wow. Yeah. A, a, a conducted, premeditated, we are Lickenstein. pulling against him. So don't it tell me. It wasn't premeditated. No, tell me. It of was simply it was. meditated. It was a premeditation temptation. And you know what? That, that's a buck. And had you lost, I would have been gruntled. But the fact that you won <laughs> there you are, led me to be disgruntled. Again. Oh, man. No, yeah. Guru, I love you. Yeah. You're, you're, I'll send you a text. You're happy for other yeah. people. And uh, that's, the, that's the sign of a good person. Well, I missed you guys. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy yeah. New Year. I'm a little down. Why? I was uh, at a de- nobody asked, but Willard's <laughs> hand was. No, he so just asked, yeah. So I was yeah. at a domino tournament over the weekend. In person or online? In person. Yeah, we kind of yeah. threw it. Uh, shout out to the Browns in Sacramento. And about 12 of the 20 people, I said 16 on IG Live, 12 of the six, these are grown adults, were dreading going back to work. Yeah. And it got me to think, and I used to have that dead-end job where I hated on Friday you thought about going back Monday. Sure. And it got me to thinking, Stiney, look at him. I love my job, and I love the people I work with, so I excused myself, went outside on the porch, fired up the IG Live, which I don't do, but Dibs brought it to my attention that I do do it a lot, and gave all my coworkers I work with, started with Steiny, Bonte Shasky, Dibs, Willard, mm. uh, Nahegan, wow. Evan, wow. Uh, Lucas, and yeah. I didn't do it for clap, uh, the no, Lubman. No Grandy? Grandy made it. The Grandy man can. And not one person liked the video. And I didn't do it for you to like it, but my wife came up to me and sat next to me on the couch. I go, what are you doing? She was moved that I did something. Like, she was moved that I was soft and gave love to, but nobody saw it or liked it or. Go, can I continue? My, I, I'm flabbergasted. Is this before or after you had verbally oh, assaulted this, this me? This was before. This was attack. Sunday. Willard, I, I gave attack. you love for giving back uh, to the youngsters you're trying to get in the game. I, I called Divs the internet. I didn't see it. I dialed out. I like. I would totally. Now I feel get a little it. better. I did not. <laughs> I, I, like I'm looking. I, at, mean, I have no idea right, what I you're feel, even talking Dibs, about. So you didn't see it either. I dude. truly, I, I truly he, went into vacation I, mode. Okay. Well, plus, right. I plus, feel better Dibs now. No, you Monday, were posting. I, I moved. You posted. No, I didn't. When you posted from the Warrior game. That was. I saw you December at the Warrior game. Yeah, I saw him at the Warrior game. That was two weeks ago. You posted your Christmas card, which was nice. Uh, right. <laughs> I always. That's a tradition on yep, Christmas yep. Eve. And uh, I but mean, I like. And plus, Monday was. I moved. All right. I, I feel even, better. I now. Even I even I nobody saw. No, it. but not more. Oh, I saw it. I did not. I, I saw did not it. see it. I, I saw it. I'd have given you. I'd have given you. I'd have dapped you up. Even my boys love. Hey, girls. So when I see, I go through Instagram a lot, and you know, you see something, and you see a video. And you either turn up the volume and listen to it, or you don't. And this was a video, and normally... I had the shades on. Normally your videos are, uh, like, replete. There's with, not a lot of them, though. Okay, good. Yeah. You, you do your lock of the day, and you have your record, and you do your pick, and a lot of those I will I will listen to. And you share a lot of direct messages, and I, and well, I that thank I you do, for that. I'm, I'm done. There's content. You're not done. I, I think I got one today. But there's content <laughs> that you share... And sometimes I will listen, sometimes I won't. I feel like it's a little bit of an oversaturation okay, right. sensation. So, you know, I'm well, not going to apologize for not opening it. I'm just going to be honest and say I saw it and I didn't open it. But now right. knowing what I know about it, I'm going to go back and try to find it and listen to it. All right. It's, but it's too late now. But, yeah. It's gone. My wife sat next to me, Stiney. She was moved by yeah. you did that from your heart. And nobody heard it. <laughs> I said, wow, crickets. Uh, if you would have yeah. captioned it like, love for my 95-70 you know game that, fan. Yeah, I'm not, you know what? Because most of your stuff yeah, is captioned. I'm going to step right. it up next. Right. I'm going to at you guys. This That's what I should have done. Okay. Also it was true. a love letter to my coworkers. And, and love on social media <laughs> just gets scrolled. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, you would come out, if you would come out and the label had been, 
I I hate Matt Steinmetz. Ooh. And let me tell you, oh. let me give you 90 seconds on why Steiny and I are at odds. That's sad, though. If I, like, that's oh, volume that up. That would have gotten yeah, some that's views. A yeah. Wow. That's, that that's, gotten good, some, that's a good call. Yeah, that's some a retweets. Fact, no doubt. But if you went out there and did something from the heart that was nice. I like my job. <laughs> well, that's what it all is. Scroll. Scroll. Hey, uh, my wiffle ball in the Where's the food coming, Willard? Since you won the big money. When's the it. lunch coming? What, the, what are we talking about? The donut. I fed, you, you I've, I've fed you all at the Super Bowl parties for two years running now. No, I'm kidding. It's coming. All right. I'm not going to do it on a Wednesday. Okay, I got yeah. you. Yeah. It's Wednesday's uh, by, I think best it's, day of the week, no, right? It's, it's a good opportunity to reboot something that we did when we were doing middays. Which we had Donut Friday. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you and I have had a donut since we switched the afternoon. No, my next donut it's comes the, this Saturday, who, though. Who eats donuts yeah. at 2, although I have no issue with yeah. it. Right. So maybe we'll do that on Friday. I'm doing donuts on Saturday because I'm starting my 35th year of refereeing CYO basketball. Look at my gosh. So. Shout out St. Anne's in your yep. city. Oh, what's the, yep. date? what's the date that you got, Jude? What's I think I've date? got him He's on... Uh, my, one of my son's yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he oh, did it to the boss's son. This is incredible. You got one of my boys' games. We call it... Flagrant foul, Nahigian. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, oh boy, it's terrible. Dude, yeah. uh, baby Nahigian is not afraid <laughs> of the flagrant. We're already having nightly tutoring sessions on how to handle you. January twenty seventh. Yeah. Just let him know, no eye contact, Jay- and he better not iguodala. That should me. be YouTube. Wow, dude, that, he, that, that, that there's game something there. Could right. draw some interest. Hold on, hold Jan twenty seventh. January twenty seventh. Willard v. Dib. This is wow. If he iguodala, okay, that's me, a one o'clock game. Yeah. That's a one o'clock <laughs> game at St. Vincent. At St. Vincent's, that's okay. my gym. Let's see we can sell shout that out place Marine. out. Yeah, shout Let's out Marine Wood. Yeah, uh, it's not expensive to get in. No, uh, tickets are, are free. Yep, seats yep. are still available. Wow, but I'm just, inviting the entire Bay Area. Just Let's let go. them know two One things: o'clock. One, the palms go down; mm-hmm. they don't go up. Mm-hmm. And two, no eye contact. This Other, is, if he can obey those two oh, things, he'll be fine. Oh, he'll make eye contact. Dude, we're going to introduce you to. Right before the game even starts. Well, there he, better be eye contact. I've taught him how to shake a hand and look people in the eye. He better go to the sanitizer first because I wear my mask. I know you And do. I have a handheld whistle. Yeah, he's and, be, yeah. Who's hey, the scary Dibs. guy with the mask? Have you ever seen the one? The one it was with <laughs> Ron, Ronnie Garrettson, the kid. I oh, think, yeah. And Rasheed Wallace. And Sheed was just staring at him. And, <laughs> and Garrettson <laughs> just goes. Boom! Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> she was just staring just at Just standing him. there. No, you're going. Just standing going. there. Are you that way? Uh, depends. Depends on the kid and really depends on the parents. Because there are <laughs> there are a couple parents that I can see coming. And, uh, this you is, know, hold Mark's on. my partner, so. January 27th. Yeah, I think. Uh, the day before Championship Sunday? Probably, okay. yeah. Uh, so Dallas at Niners. So there will not be. Uh, so there will not be a football game because if you're right. like, if you were like, what's the parent doing in the stands? Uh, on he, the phone, he'd be yeah, on his yeah. phone, wow. sure. uh, watching sure. the 49er game. But uh, and that's why like, I'm hoping the no Niner conflict. game uh, that previous weekend is on the 21st, the Sunday. Yeah. Uh, because if it's on the Saturday, the 20th, I'm going to have to do the old, uh, oh. you know, turn the phone off. Oh. and The and Niners, they'll get a Sunday game. Because oh. I'm working that day. Yeah. Sunday. Against mm-hmm. Tampa Bay? Yeah. That might be on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Right. Tampa yeah. Bay, they're going to beat Philly and the Rams. Oh, they're dangerous now, too. No, the Lions will beat the Rams. No, the Rams right? will beat the Lions. Mark has already said I that the seeds will hold. Yeah. The seeds Will hold. Yeah. We didn't mark the tape because uh, Baker look, look, look. Baker's didn't know gonna how. Cook. But He's gonna cook. Don't try to get on Baker's bandwagon now. That Eagles secondary. Who, who are you taking right now? Baker Mayfield or Flacco? To do what? Go further. No, oh. I'm taking Flacco. He's got something. It's only going. one game, and he's got a great yeah, defense. I, gotta, I mean, if, he, if you think I that if you the, think that uh, that Tampa Bay's gonna beat Philly, right, well, then you. Flacco's okay. got to get to the uh, AFC no, Championship. I'll take Baker. Would you really? Yeah. No, Flacco doesn't have to make the AFC Championship. To go right, far, they, like, help me. This out. guy's hating on Baker going back to like no, 2017. I, yeah, well, you you said I hated Flacco too, so I have to hate yes. one of them more than the other. Flacco's incredible. And I'll you hate Baker. Baker more than Flacco. I think that the Browns have a little too much flavor of the month for me right mm, now. I like that. Where everybody's yeah, yeah. like, they're all oh, the yeah. Browns. They're gonna they probably like they're gonna go to Houston or or Jacksonville, and I think they're gonna get beat. You realize the Niners cannot handle the AFC. Browns, I do no realize that. Ravens, loss. Yeah. Bengals, loss. Steelers, blowout win. 
Yeah. <laughs> eight years yeah. ago. I heard you <laughs> yesterday. Eight years ago. Willard, you said that, the line of the day. What? It was a long time ago. That game right? was. That game was, was I mean, 2020. They stink and they're about to make the playoffs. <laughs> Doesn't that feel like? Well, I mean, Mark said it yesterday. You know what also was like five years ago? The Christmas Day game against the Nuggets. Mark is right. That game yeah, feels that like game, it was months ago. Doesn't it? It like I, I mean, and the Warriors were winning most of the way. The eighteen yeah. free throw game from uh, yeah, the, the game. Yeah, how about just, even Philly? How about the Eagles Niners game? Oh God! Oh man, that yeah. was like, like second that, term. Which was, that exactly, broke Philly exactly a month yeah. ago today. Yeah. Wow. Not that long. Yeah, that yeah. broke Philly. Remember that? That means seems like an eternity. Yeah. Thirty-one days ago, people yeah. thought the Eagles were good. Kind of like the Draymond yeah. suspension, which, I, which was three weeks ago, five weeks ago, and also eight weeks ago. <laughs> um, Sorry. Hey, Lewis, what's your favorite? <laughs> You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ, FM and HD1 San Francisco, always live on the Free Odyssey app. Twitch and YouTube, powered by First NorCal Credit Union. Uh, Gutsy I, legal I did, right there. No, you know, seriously, I, I, so I went into <laughs> the boss and just chatted, and he said that when Steve Kerr talked about Draymond yesterday, in the press conference, and he came in here to you guys and said, did you hear what he said? He thought it was pretty important or or uh, uh, had a message to it or yeah. what you guys think. Because I do, when I heard it, I can just tell you that what went through my head was maybe he won't play another game for the Warriors. Right? Yeah. They've said the same thing. So I, I feel the, like it's, the, it's, it, it's not like we're – I do think we're kind of past – he may ha- this may happen, but I don't think he's coming back in two weeks and just. Oh, gonna, I have no idea when he's coming. Gonna back. play like you know I don't I mean? think- like the Shams tweet was something about like three weeks at least, and so then we we sort of just went okay three weeks. Well, no, that's at least right, and I would imagine the league is looking for certain things to be done and said, and we have no idea if they are. I have well, no idea what's going on, and it sounds like the Warriors. To a degree, have no idea what's going on. And my first thought, like, I, I, I totally feel what you guys are saying. Maybe at a more simplistic thought is what kind of went through my head, which is that I, I just these two these two sides are not on the same page. They're not okay with each other right now. Well, this is a punishment. This is a suspension. But it's so there league. shouldn't have been a positive update because a guy like me, Willard, when it came out that he could come to the facility, I'm like, well, what kind of suspension is that? Where is the takeaway? And I was told, oh, it's love. It's brotherhood. So it's I think Kerr was marvelous in the fact that he's saying there's nothing positive to report. This is a suspension. We haven't talked to him, but we text. So now I'm kind of like, you know what? I'm underreacting to... There shouldn't have been anything positive from that question. It's not positive that he shows up or that he's actually doing his work in the facility or like touching base with the team or being with the team. To me, LeBron. To me, the work that you're going to do is personal and it's also professional. So the personal work, you do it on your own terms, but the professional work is, hey guys, you know, I've been away for 10 days and I just want you to know. I'm watching every game, and I'm here mm-hmm. at practice today, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go in and do my work, and I'm gonna be here for you. Hey, Jonathan Kaminga, I know you're going through some things. Let me mentor you because I'm still bought in on being a Warriors, and I'm not getting that sense from mm-hmm. him and Steve Kerr at all. We haven't heard well, a I, word from Draymond. I mean, to me, the biggest, the reason yesterday hit home was Kerr said we're giving him space, he's giving us space. Kerr also acknowledged he's not practicing with the team. Right. He's not he hasn't been with the team. Which and he can't. All I know is when you're suspended and I've checked on this now over the years because of Draymond Green, you can practice. Mm-hmm. You can if if the Warriors have a game and you're suspended, you have to leave the 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 arena cuz their facilities in there by like 2 hours before the game. You got to right. get out. But the reality is is there any other like the Warriors told him Go away. Right. And, and they said go uh, away. Like that, when he said that statement. That, or he said, they're, they're, I'm not only going away, I don't want to be here anyway. Both may, of them, may, yeah. Maybe, but mm. there's one, o- only one of those sides has never happened before. Draymond needing space because he's ticked at the Warriors happens every Tuesday. Okay. The Warriors needing space from Draymond, that's a first. Mm. The Warriors have always, always maintained we have his back. No doubt. We need him. We can't win without him. We've got him. We've got him. We've got him. We've got him. So when I heard Steve use those words, he's giving us space from him. 
that to me is what stuck out because they, that says that the Warriors are much angrier than they've let on. Well, they, it also one of two things is is he wants to practice with the team, and they're like, no, we don't want you to be with the team right now. Mm. And he's saying, well, fine, then I won't be. You know what I mean? Like it can't be. I really want to practice with the team. Of course. Well, that's not business as usual. Something's different about this time. And maybe it's as simple as, hey, we, we, we need to learn how to win without you for the next month and a half, so let's not practice with you because that's not who we're going to be. Mm. Maybe it's that, or maybe it's one of about 12 other things. Yeah. Maybe it's as complex as this thing is broken beyond repair, and we're finding you a new destination, maybe. and you you won't ever play for us again. And it may be mutual. So... We don't know where it falls in terms of, you know, the divide. Is it a div divide of we just need time and this will all work out and you'll be here for three more years and you'll end your career as a warrior? Or, look, you got suspended five games for choke and go bear and we told you at that point this can't happen again and then ten days later you slap a guy in the head and you get suspended indefinitely. It might be more than just like, we need some time apart. We They might need all the time apart. I would imagine in two hours and 55 minutes, Steve uh, will come on this show and will provide some clarity on that factor because he knows this, the Warriors know this. When you're that vague with an answer, it allows what the four of us are doing right now to run amok. You know what it's, it is, right? Yes, it's a speculation sensation. It's a buck. And, but but that's not good for the Warriors to have all of our minds going. Like, he literally, in one sentence, was so vague that some of us have decided that the Draymond and Warriors relationship is over. Right. And I don't know that it, that, that that's what it I'll means at Stani, all. I don't think no. it but, but that's what that's where some of our minds are going. So I would imagine at five o'clock. That's he's where gonna, Bill Simmons' mind went. Yeah, you yep. saw his sure. uh, his podcast about Austin Reeves for Draymond Green. Well, to me, it's it's any rational wow, person. If yeah. that happens, not really. If any, I'm the Warriors, I to me, if you've been a you know an observer of the Warriors, whether you've agreed with them or not, I think you can look at this Draymond Green situation, hear everything, and say, yeah, this ain't the normal way it's been. Mm. There's there are dynamics that. There are dynamics at play that have changed. Right. Well, what are you talking about, Steiny? Well, one thing is Steve Kerr's really mad at Draymond. Like he probably. just is. And he probably. should be. He he's like he probably Curry's is. probably mad like, at like, him. Like, like Steve Kerr's got to. Yeah. You think these guys don't hear? Well, Kerr enabled him. They enabled him. Enabled him. Enabled him. You know, it's like, you know. And what's he really supposed to do? Well, and, and it's like, well, you're enabled is my support. And you know what? He, he's let me down. And I told him twice, like, just, I, I just think he's really mad at Draymond. Well, and I other, think there's a chance that Draymond may think, and I don't, you're right, I don't know, but I think there's a chance Draymond thinks the organization's let him down in some way. Could you imagine? With, with like, the league taking control. Wow. Draymond-type personalities always think that. They always think that everyone's out to get them and that everybody, look at the way that he handles every single time. Um, from Jordan Poole's situation to even when he whacked Nurkic um, and the Rudy Gobert thing, there, there it happens. He'll find a he'll find a microphone. Mm. He'll apologize, and then social media takes over, and then he'll do his own post of "You all don't know how to be me," and and so there it is. That's right. how that personality right. handles that. They're all he's always going to feel attacked. He's always going to feel attacked. So I have no doubt that 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 he feels that way now. But what about this? I thought Clay Thompson's uh, press conference last night was really interesting. No doubt. And if Clay's talking about a meeting with Steve where Steve's talking to Clay about negative energy and how that affects the young players, well, now take that conversation to Draymond. And what do you think Steve Kerr and the whole organization are thinking? Good Lord, if they're worried about Clay Thompson's energy around the young guys, how about Draymond Green's energy around the young guys? So is it crazy to think mm. that they did tell him, dude, get out of here yes. until you can fix yourself? You no, know, and the other, that's what's, the that's other what piece I, of it is yeah. what you said earlier, Steiny, about the nearly unprecedented nature of a coach in a lame duck year situation. So 
Steve Kerr is sitting where Bob Myers was sitting, and Bob Myers doesn't have to deal with the Draymond Green part of his life anymore. Mm. And Steve Kerr, he might only have three months and two weeks remaining mm. as the Golden State Warrior coach. If you don't make the playoffs, if you don't make the play in, if you're the 11 seed and you get to tax day April 15th and this season ends and you're 39 and 43, Maybe it's a rap like Saran for Steve Kerr. Man, and I was telling Stoney, it seems like Kerr is not all of a sudden, but not letting him hang, but he's being more with his words, just like, you know what, I, this is what it is, and you can take that and make with what you want. Even with the Draymond, like, that was very telling. like No doubt. And he's kind of doing it with every, you know, He's so smart and tactical. You guys did a great job. Or No, excuse me. It was Devone and FP <laughs> asking him. My God, he was on Willard and Dibs. And they asked him about Kaminga's comments. We get credit for and, it. Yeah, no doubt. And Thank what did Kerr say? Diplomatic. I love my guy to want to be that. But then two days later, at Nick Nolte, 48 hours, he comes back and says, our team insinuates that they got to be, they're playing for different, like agendas. That's what yep. I got out of it. Yep. And I said, he doubled back and got you. That's what he was talking about. So I, I'm just seeing a different curve. Well, See, I, well, I, ahead, think, I just think as it, as it relates uh, to Draymond, I think, I think after, I'm really trying, I think, I'm trying to kind of figure this out too. So the league says you're suspended indefinitely. At that point, Draymond is probably thinking, here we go again, another suspension. This one's indefinite. Uh, I'll catch you all at the facility <laughs> when we're, you know, at practice tomorrow. And then obviously the Warriors say, no, we don't want you to come to practice. In fact, we want you to take time away from the team for as long as the suspension. So now Draymond's like, well, so I'm not working out at the facility? And they say to him, you know what? No, of course you can work out at the facility, but right now... It's better wow. if you stay away from your the the, your, the guys, the, team, yeah. the guys on the court, the family. I'm not saying you can't go out to dinner with them if you want to, but no, we don't. We think your your presence is detrimental to what we're trying to do. And I could see Draymond saying, oh, "Okay, I'm okay. going to LeBron's." Well, <laughs> that, that to me was yeah. a huge nothing burger. But my point is, I think Draymond could be out there saying. I'm just chilling, waiting, doing my courses, taking my classes. Yep. No, I'm not working out there. They don't want me there. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's possible. I mean, I <laughs> everything's possible because we just don't know. The one thing we do know from Steve Kerr is that he's only texted him and he hasn't seen Man. him at practice. And, you know, Draymond might be going to the facility every day right. and working out on his own, but he hasn't been part of the team. And,. That, to me, is shocking because he could. So it's either him or the team or mutual. It's been 22 days since the incident happened, and the team is absolutely stuck in the mud. And I look at Jackson Davis every time I love watching the play. Like, right. there is life without Draymond. I'm not saying he makes Draymond expendable, but there. I saw you and your family at the game. With yeah, Jordan Poole they, come back. The lights didn't go out without Draymond. The show goes on. They don't look any worse. <laughs> I don't. I don't know that they look markedly better either. They look pretty similar, but they don't. They don't look any worse, do they? I'm just. We no, are on camera, so we like. I like to play to the cameras. Oh, I heard. You that said they can't. I heard that about you. <laughs> wow. Oh. Hey, this is fun. You guys are gonna, uh, curse it. What time, hand. Steve Kerr? Five o'clock. Five. Five o'clock. Man, this is one of those where I, I want to say, yeah. Hey, ask him that. Hey, ask him oh, that. I know. I know. But, I might turn the internet off before the interview. No, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna no, be a doozy. It'll be great. Yeah. It'll be great. All right, chance. Have a good one.